everyone it's Shilpa here and oh my goodness it feels like I've been gone for ages I've just been super super busy with work um, but I did want to share these dies with you which I got ne probably nearly a month ago now and um, I really wanted to show you when I got them but I thought I'm going to make a few cards and do that video together with the dies so these three die sets are I purchased from Creative Craft and um, they have individ individual names but when I bought them I got them at half price and they were as a collection called A Day Like This die collection and I think it's still available on Creative Craft I'll try and put the link for you below but they are just so beautiful, so ornate, and I couldn't pass it up at half price. So um, I actually bought them along, you know the time I bought the little um, Cherished Darlings, the little um, tattered lace dolls, so that's the same time I purchased these. So the first one is called a Flourishing Trellis Rectangle. And they might be available individually from Tata Lace website, um, which I'll also put the link below for because they have a vast, like, whole different load of the dies that they come out with. And there's always, like, clearance sections, so you can check that out. So anyway, so the Flourishing Trellis Rectangle is a beautiful set. And the dimensions of the dies are all here, if you want to pause it and have a look. And the dies themselves, they're all here, so you get a beautiful, um, ornate one. And the thing I like most is it's got the outer die as well, which is this large one. And that's great for creating um, the like fancy card shapes. So that's the first one, Flourishing Trellis Rectangle. Then you have this one, which is the Flourishing Trellis Circle. Um, even though the main die is the square, I think the circle refers to the centre. And again, same kind of thing with the outer die, um, the ornate die, and then a few centre dies. And the, this is the dimension of that set. And then the last one is the flourishing trellis oval. So there is a difference between these, as you can see. They are large die sets. Um, I use my Spellbinders um, Platinum, the large format die cutting machine, to die cut these because um, I just find it works better with the larger dies. Um, and this set, again, same kind of thing with the outside, the fancy flourishing bit and then a few centre ones for embellish embellishments. And then here are the dimensions. So lovely, lovely set, and like I said, I made cards to show you. So I'll pick out my cards, and I've not done anything fancy with the cards. I've just laid the layers as they are. So this is the first card, and this one is using this die set, the flourishing trellis rectangle. And you can see what I've done. I've just layered them as they are. I've just put some foam pads behind each layer to give some dimension. And it's a landscape card and to create the cards I've used the same color throughout and um, using all the cards I've just used some cream card and this beautiful almost like um, a peachy flesh tony um, colored card as well so the first card here um, I love the layers like I said I love that you get the embossing and the pin dots within the die as well and the layer so beautifully and like I said I use my large format machine so I could create um, a card base which is like this so I've used the outer die to create my card base and I um, just stamped happy anniversary on there and that's one very old um, sentiment stuff I think it's the Dawn Bibby one that I've had probably nearly 10 years so I've used the same um, stamp set for all the cards and then here I've just got some wild orchid craft um, flowers to, to create a little um, cluster at the bottom there with a hint of pink and some greens just to add a tiny bit of colour so that is my first card my next card is this one using the flourishing trellis circle and this is a card I made again I've used the outer die to create the card base and this one says to a special couple and I've used the same colors I've used exactly the same flowers same set of um, 
stamps to stamp that sentiment and you can see I've just created a bit of dimension not too much because I would like these going in envelopes and I don't want to make boxes for these and there's the card base which have, um, is a top folding card so it opens this way so that's the other card and then you can see again the same detailing with the pin dot and the cut lines and the best thing about tattered lace dies is you can snip into them really easily it gives you the snipping line here so if I was to cut round here and around here this will give me a really beautiful corner to use on a project as well so that is my next card and then the last one using the flourishing trellis oval is this card this one says happy birthday and it's again so cute and again I've not done anything special I've just layered the layers as they are I mean I could have cut into them placed them behind this oval you know say for example I cut this corner off and put another layer behind here I could have done that but I just kept it quite simple just to showcase the die itself because they are really really stunning and you get the detail with all the dies and I love this centerpiece here absolutely love it so this one says happy birthday and again it's not too dimensional but enough to give a bit of a shadow behind each of the layers as you can see so those are my three cards that I made and I think they came out adorable um, I'll try and put the link um, to create and craft where they're available as a set I think they're still available as a set um, or if you want to go and check out the Tattered Lace website so um, thank you for stopping by I'm sorry I've not done a video in ages like I said I've been super busy at work really really busy and I had some crafting time um, yesterday so I thought I'd make these cards and um, share them with you so once again thank you for stopping by thank you for um, always commenting and um, welcome aboard to all the new subscribers I um, hope you're enjoying my videos and leave me a comment below to let me know what you think of these cute little cards and I'll see you soon with more projects. Until next time, take care.